Well, it's Friday. Finally, Friday. Finally. Oh, what's y'all winning here? So, it's like a backyard giveaway thing. Mm -hmm. So you have a foiler, a grill, all kind of neat little stuff. Man, that's cool. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, all you have to do to enter it is to like run a PSA app. You don't have to purchase anything. Hmm. It doesn't matter if you get approved or denied. He just puts you in there to win. There you go, guys. Win a four wheeler. Yeah. We got a big old empty spot over here, so it must have been a good week. Well, there's two empty spots. Yeah. So we had a guy uh, lied two weeks ago. He got on here and he said, well, matter of fact, we got off. And he, it was hot. It's a little tire shop. He was like, y'all have ice cream yet? I said, no. I said, I don't have no room in my truck. I said, it's, it's full. And he was like, so you're telling me if I buy one of those carts, I can, uh, we can get ice cream back on truck. I said, oh my goodness. I said, I mean, <laughs> if that's what you want to do. And he was like, yeah, let's try it. So we run him. Sure enough, he gets approved for it. Well, he was like, let me think about it. And I said, that's fine. And I said, I, I, it was just a joke anyway. So I said, yeah. it's no big deal. So he gets off the truck and I kind of laugh about it. I tell Michael about it. Well, the next week rolls by and I'm like, he's just going to get on here and buy a car, maybe. He was going on a service call. So I was like, well, all right, uh -oh. that's, that's fine. I said, it, everything happens for a reason, right? Well, yesterday I walk in the shop and he's busy. So I kind of walk over and say, hey, you ready for your fish cart? You know, just making it a quick joke, you know, because that's lighting it, lighting the mood because mm -hmm. I mean, they were swamped. And he was like, well, honestly, I want two. And I said, two? What? And I was like, are you joking, you know? And he's like, yeah. He said, I, I, I want two. He said, I want to get one for my dad. Wow. I said, are you sure? He's like, yeah. She's like, all right. So he's like, what you got on the truck? So we walk out here and he says, well, I have enough room for, and he pointed at the fish cart, of course. Mm -hmm. He said, I want that here because it's smaller. You know, he can roll it around. And he said, I want to get my dad that one. And he was pointing at the blue box, which is a 2S. And I said, yeah, I mean, I, that's Heck fine. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. are you sure? Is this what you want to do? <laughs> and he's like, I'll do it under one condition. And I said, what's that? He said, you got the deep freeze on here full of ice cream next week when you pull up. And Michael, he heard him up front. So he hops out back and he's like, are you serious? You all, all you want all this for ice cream? And he's like, no, I want all of it. He said, the ice cream's just a perk. Yeah. <laughs> so, Heck yeah. And I'm like, well, maybe y'all right. should at least give him one free ice cream. Next That's week. what I told him. I was like, <laughs> when we left, I said, I guess I'm cleaning the deep freezer this weekend because it's we have it all put up. Right. You know, we clean it out and we'll stick it back on here. And he said, I guess we are. He said, we might have to give them all a free round of ice cream when we come back. <laughs> That's a good I'm deal. Like, I guess we'll be going to Sam's this weekend. There you go. <laughs> well, I have to say that the battery crimper that I had you order is mm -hmm. absolutely perfect. Well, that is great. What I needed to do, it works great. So, if you guys are in the market for a battery crimper and you can't use one of the hammer type to beat it on, check that screw down type thing. It's, oh yeah, I think it's nice. Works now, great. like you said, whenever it first came in, it was it's narrow. Like, yeah, I mean it's not one of the thick ones because I mean mm -hmm. we've had them on here. The hammer type, you know, they're like yep. thick metal. That one that you got is t tiny. So, yeah, works great. It it's a lot smaller than I thought it was, but it's big enough to do anything you want to do with it. So exactly. I have to say it's it's just right. <laughs> it helps out it being tiny and that you can just yeah. ratchet it on. But and I stuck it, it in there and used my little impact on there. It was a tight spot, it worked great, so Oh yeah. Perfect. So, perfect, perfect. So something semi new that they sent out. I'm calling it semi new, it's just a pack. Yeah. They put them all together. So you have your, they're all universal joints. Mm -hmm. So you have your 10 and you have your quarter inch and you have a little bitty one there. So i tell you what it was, but I didn't look at the package right away. <laughs> uh, but they, they've started selling stuff like that in a pack. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed that it goes really well comboing it together. Yes. Yes. There we go. Oh, and it comes in a little old case. That little tray. Yeah. And you might be able to read that part number off there. If not, 
There's that one. S A U three S L. I think so. I think so. Cool. Oh, and that's the maybe. ones that won't get floppy, right? They yes. got the little spring in them. So they are spring loaded. Yep. That's so much Hard better than electrical tape and O rings and. Or having to wait on you to get one warranty out because it's done. Right. So it looks like a quarter inch bit holder, mm -hmm. a 10 millimeter, and a quarter by quarter. Yep. Good set. Pretty decent, if you ask me. Yeah, y'all. It looks like they're patented too. It just has it big old letters on there. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've had a lot of people, like our spring loaded extensions here. Mm -hmm. They like those. Yep. So we had a guy ask if he could get them individual. So we got some of those and then he ended up ordering the whole quarter inch set. Heck so yeah. we're all right with that. Can't beat that. Yeah. Well, y'all got the teal pry bars. I hadn't seen them either. Yes, they're nice. They did not make it inside the house this time. So what's the best selling color now? Honestly, it's a mix of all of them. So we had the teal ratchets on here. Uh -huh. I had to take mine off the the ceiling because everybody tried to buy it. Right. It's a good selling point though. Mm -hmm. And right now this one is actually still in stock. So I've been selling off it. Right. Uh, teal and chrome has been doing pretty decent. Uh, let me see. Our red. Red yeah. does really well. I like red too. And blue. Blue sells really good. I like that nickel finish, you know, that blue. Mm-hmm. I don't, is that what y'all call it, nickel? Yes. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah it's got an end, so I'm gonna yeah. say nickel. I like that finish a lot. A lot of people, they... Like, I like I it was, better than the black, because the black wires off and looks bad, but the nickel is still... I don't know if you can see that in the thing or not. Yeah. But if they would have made this before the black chrome, I would have called that black chrome, and I would have right. called that something, I don't know. I think I'd just call that black. Just black. Flat black, <laughs> matte black. <laughs> like you can see the difference here if I show it. Oh yeah. But it's, uh, I really like nice. the nickel. A lot of people like it. Yeah. Um, I just, Something I'm different. partial to my matte. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Only thing I don't like, I bought one, I think it was a half inch ratchet that I bought from you guys. Mm -hmm. Man, that black wore off really fast. It does. But, I mean, it's almost like they used a sharpie to put it on. <laughs> so, well, I don't know the the whole process of it, so yeah. I've just heard bits and pieces. I mean, I'm sure if I researched it, I could know. Mm -hmm. I think it just the only reason it's like that is because it hadn't went through the chroming process yet. So mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of coat they have on top of it to keep it from scratching, but it. Right. But I mean, even your chrome ratchets, they're gonna get scratched up. Yeah, but good. they don't. It don't look as bad a chrome ratchet with scratches because it's still kind of chrome looking, oh, yeah. right? So you the black, it up. man, it looked, that thing looked like it was 140 year old and it was like the newest ratchet that I had. Did the air break off of it? I mean, <laughs> I can warrant it out if your ear broke. <laughs> no, it's good. I mean, it is, but it's the long, it's, well, it's like this one. It's the, yep. I think it had the green handles. That size right there, yeah. I don't know what it was, but everybody liked that one in blue. Yeah. You got the black, well, of course, you just said you had the black. I didn't chrome. have the the blue at night yet when I bought mine, but oh. that's a good ratchet. Like, it's not one you use a whole lot, but when you need it, it's oh, yeah. really nice to have. And if you need to get bigger than that, just go to three quarter. Just oh, yeah. Go, just go over the side. Or get a breaker bar and put a pipe on it, you know. Just go over the handle. It. Well, all the way over the handle so the handle don't but you break. know when they come out with the battery impacts and then after air impacts got stronger it kind of cut the need out for a big long ratchet like that yeah. and it's, that's a good thing i think the only reason you would still need a ratchet is if it got into a position where your impact couldn't mm -hmm. get to it or well, i use those for like cat oil filters most of the time or the drain plugs because like you can snug a cat oil filter at two foot pounds and the drain plug at two foot pounds, and when it comes back in off the road, it's gonna be like 180 foot pounds. Well, that's like uh, it just gets tighter and tighter and tighter. Toyota oil filters. Mm -hmm. Michael, he was teaching me how to change ours when we had a Toyota. 
I didn't realize that it's like self tightening. Yeah. So my daddy in law tried to break it, and then I tried to, and I was like, "Look, I said, Michael, you just have to. When you get home, you just have to break it loose for me." Yeah. But I've kind of got the hang of it now. But it was like, dang mm. it! Like I know it's not supposed to be. I know that the tight. first time I changed the oil in my truck. I was like, God, these clowns put this thing on an impact or something, you know? <laughs> well, like, I was barely snugged it up like you're supposed to. And when I got ready to take it off, it was the same way. I was like, hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, whatever. It happens. It does. You know, this has been a four day week, but it seems like it's been a six day. I know. I seven thought... day. It's been really, really rough week this week. So. We tell everybody that it says look I said it you might have that day off but it's it's like yeah. it makes that extra four days a lot longer. Sure but. enough. I know I've been reading some articles that was talking about countries, you know, overseas and stuff that's doing the four ten hour days. You're off Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Oh that sounds I thought, pretty nice. Man, I'd love that. Because who wouldn't want to work two extra hours a day to be off Yeah to have whole your day. extra yeah. I know I'd trade that out but if it makes every week go as long as this week i don't know that i want to do that <laughs> so, yeah I, I don't know oh, it's long weeks look this week's been extra long because our little boy gets his stitches out today yeah. at three and he's excited that as soon as he gets out he said we're coming home and jumping in because he had oh yeah pool. yeah he get to go swimming now he, he's super excited so there you go <laughs> all right guys thanks for hanging out with us on a friday hopefully you enjoyed it like always if you did Hit that thumbs up, check over for merchandise, cool tools, discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. Y'all have a great weekend. See ya.